And the demonstrators have all cleared out this late hour, but the emotions from all of this are not going away anytime soon. As you were pointing out, no decision tonight, not even on the agenda, the controversial gay pride curriculum. Still, though, that decision made earlier, still the emotions fresh enough to ignite this. Watch. An explosion of emotion sends Glendale PD rushing in. A wild scene here with the yelling, the shoving, all part of a tension-filled night surrounding the headquarters of the Glendale Unified School District. Half of the teachers support you, but they are terrified. Hundreds of demonstrators from both sides. These are pedophiles. we got a bunch of pervo pedophiles running the, the show. Most very loud, either to support or protest the school board's earlier resolution to include gay pride curriculum in its classrooms, an issue that's left many divided. It was really heartbreaking to see our community being hit and manipulated like they're using our children like puppets. I'm here to protect LGBTQIA plus kids. Um, protecting those kids actually protects every kid in the school. Those same feelings ignited this violence two weeks ago. <laughs> flying, police making arrest, all following the school board's decision back then. But the emotional fallout from that controversial decision is far from over. Again, it brings police out in force. Tonight, officers in their tactical gear, setting up skirmish lines, even using this wired barricades to, to keep both sides and their emotions separated, emotions that are still near the breaking point. Now, live gives you some idea just the emotions and how strong everybody feels here. Police not making any arrest, even some folks on both sides getting in the crowd, trying to separate everybody. Police also doing a good job with their skirmish lines to keep opposite sides, keep everybody just not getting in everybody's face. But I got to tell you, organizers for both of these factions say it's not over. They will be back at a later date. For now, we're live here in Glendale. Back to both of you we go.